actually asking us to lend you our uniforms? Colonel, believe me, it is the only way to get the picture to England to have it copied. But, Colonel, if the Gestapo ever found out that we have been helping British airmen to escape, do you not think that they would be cross? <laughs> <laughs> if they find out about the stolen painting, they will be cross. Look! Look. You will be upstairs with the girls, and your uniforms will be quietly stolen. After a brief but very enjoyable interval, they will be returned to you. <laughs> now, what do you say, Colonel? The girls are waiting. <laughs> will there be time for the flying helmet and the wet celery? <laughs> Just. I agree. <laughs> what about you, Hans? Well, I, I am thinking about my little wife in Berlin. Uh, what about Maria and the egg whisk? <laughs> <laughs> I am the... Oh. I am the... <laughs> I'm thinking that Berlin is a very long way away. <laughs> my wife is about the same size as Maria, uh, height-wise. <laughs> <laughs> It is all fixed, but don't forget the boots. Boots? I shall check the for boots. <laughs> Their boots? <laughs> Get out of your talks, chaps. Uniforms will be here any second. Hey, good show. What is happening? They are taking off their clothes, ready for their disguise. They must not remove their trousers in front of my mother. <laughs> it is war, I understand. I say, look at the crumpets. <laughs> Get cracking, chaps. Do you think we've got time? Not them, the clothes. <laughs> French people, you have some very nice jewellery. Thank you. I have a trinket that is much admired. Really? <laughs> Can I show it to you? If you must, yes. <laughs> ah, yes. It has a picture inside. Oh. Look. Ah, oh, yes, what? What lovely long blonde hair. Yes, isn't it? Unfortunately, he had to have it cut off when he joins the army. <laughs> are they ready? Well, they are dressed, but they're not very realistic. <sighs> Forgotten the painting. The what? The fallen Madonna with the big boobies. I say, chaps, you've forgotten the picture. No, we haven't. We took it out of the frame. Where is it now? <laughs> <laughs> For heaven's sake, try to look more German. Right there. Gentlemen, come again soon. Uh, give my love to the Führer. <laughs> Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> you know, Colonel, it is quite pleasant to be a French uninsular. People smile at us. Mm. Especially that German officer over there. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I prefer, I think I prefer being a peasant to being a German. You'll be a dead peasant. Herr Flick finds out we've been helping British airmen to escape. I have good news, Colonel. London is making your uniforms. They are working through the night and they will be dropped by parachute at dawn tomorrow. But how do we know they will fit? Well, they are being made by the very best Savile Row tailors, Solomon and Klein. <laughs> Jewish tailors? <laughs> Are you mad? They are the best here, Colonel. That's not the point, Hans. It's the principle of the thing. 
If I'd known they were employing Jewish tailors, things would have been different. We could have ordered some extra shirts. <laughs> <laughs> the lunch will soon be ready. Ah, what is it? You filled the fish and bagels? <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a surprise. How much longer do we have to wait? Should I sing his song to help pass the time? No! <laughs> to the kitchen. <laughs> Oh my God, more onion sellers. <laughs> Colonel, it is I, Helga. Why well, dressed as an onion seller? Her flick will be suspicious. He is also disguised as an onion seller. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, Herr Patron. I am just a simple onion seller in search of fine and food. Sit. Yes, Herr Onion Seller. I will obtain wine and food at once. Monsieur René, huh? that Onion Seller there, is he another cousin? Oh, very distant, yeah. I'm beginning to recognize your cousins. <laughs> <laughs> They're all very well built. Here it is, a work of art. Casserole of pigeon. <laughs> looks very appetizing. <laughs> Will you join us? I shall be most honored. Breast or leg? I like the legs. I can vouch for the truth of this. <laughs> Where did you get pigeon? They were in a basket in the kitchen. <laughs> you fool! They were carrier pigeons! No. Yes. No. Don't start. Look. <laughs> There on the leg is a cylinder. It contains the measurements of the curve. <laughs> There's a cylinder attached to the leg of this casserole kitchen. <laughs> uh, 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 spices have... Uh, 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 they should have been removed. Allow me. Stop! I will investigate. <laughs> Inside the cylinder, covered in gravy, there is a piece of paper with writing on it. Well, well perhaps it is the recipe. <laughs> Or maybe even the, the name and address of the pigeon. <laughs> Clearly, it is in code. This will go at once to Berlin to be deciphered by experts. Congratulations, Herr Colonel. Already, these disguises are producing results. <laughs> Look at it how you will. This is a very serious situation. Colonel, surely you know somebody who could order our release? There is only one person who could order our release. Who? Oh. Me. <laughs> René, huh? if they shoot us, at least I will die by your side. If you died in front of me, I'd have a better chance. <laughs> René, you do love me, don't you? Of course I love you, Yvette, of course. Oh, oh René. Oh. What do you think it will be like in heaven? Well, I don't suppose they let us do this for a start. If only the French would have boys and girls in the same cell. Psst! <laughs> oh. oh. How did you get up there? I am standing on a peasant. <laughs> Have you come to get us out? No, but I have your uniforms back from the cleaners. Where are they? In the office, ready for you when you get out. But how do we get out? Here is a hacksaw for the bars. Ah, thank you. Even without bars, I can't get through this little window. I could. Yes, but you can't sign the orders. You're not senior enough. I could forge your signature. I've done it before. <laughs> Now it's all coming out. <laughs> General. <laughs> General von Klinkhofen is arriving by car. He's most displeased. Somebody's blown up the railway. It was him. <laughs> Tell tale. I must go. Somebody's coming. Ah! Oh, <laughs> wrong. As you are no doubt all going to be shot, you will no doubt wish to see a priest. Come this way. He took a nun of And when the horse were fighting down, 
He was Anglesim. Shh! It is I, Leclerc. Well, I never would have guessed. <laughs> what do you want? I bring you good news. Shh! Your mother-in-law and your wife are coming to see you. This is good news? <laughs> also, I have for you... Uh, sealed on my person. <laughs> an axo. We already have an axo, you silly old fool. <laughs> In that case, my son, up yours. <laughs> <laughs> I have given them my blessing. Let me out. Bless you. And you. <laughs> Here, your kindness. Oh, and mother. <laughs> you have more visitors. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you putting me in here with these smelly peasants? <laughs> to say goodbye to your son-in-law. Goodbye, let us get out. <laughs> oh, really? Not now, Edith, please. <laughs> we have a plan. Good, what is it? We are up to here with axles. I am down to there with axles. <laughs> Helga, go at once for Herr Flick and let him wring the information out of you. Yes, Colonel. Cheese eggs. Cheese eggs. Ah, ah, I see a typical cheese salesman entering my cafe. <laughs> Thank you. Three yes. and yes. cheeses Shut you up. will buy. Shut up. My cheese is. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, cheese seller. I am prepared to purchase all your wares. Oh, how uh, oh, very fortunate. Uh, uh, never before have I had such a good day for yes. selling yes. the cheeses. Good. <laughs> good. That means you can go home without delay. <laughs> It is I, Leclerc. Well, I never. <laughs> the radio is already connected, and the spare battery is in the Dutchy Dam with the knobs on. <laughs> the face of that cheese seller seems strangely familiar. Ah, yes, well, yes, well it is a very small village, and. Uh, we do a lot of interbreeding. Is the coast clear? We are 50 miles from the coast. <laughs> Something very important has just come up. How long have you been out there? <laughs> the two airmen have left the nunnery. Good. Now perhaps Yvette and I can continue to discuss the menu for tonight. They left because the Germans came to search for them. They are on the run. Well, that is your problem, not mine. I don't care if I never see their stupid faces ever again. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> it is the airmen. I would never have known. <laughs> well, look, do not let them come in here. You speak the language, tell them to go away. Go. <clears throat> now, listen, chaps. René has been awfully decent putting you up here, but you have outstayed your welcome. We, we, we can't walk around as nuns all day. The Jerry's keep trying to chat us up. Didn't they suspect the moustache? You think mine's big, you should see the mother superiors. <laughs> We're not going back to the nunnery. Fairfax mucked up his needlework and we had to spend hours scrubbing the steps. <laughs> Look! <laughs> Why is he showing you his knees? He was a scrubber at the nunnery. No wonder they threw him out. Well, look, tell them to go away. Well, listen to me, René. You are a vital link in the escape route mm. for British airmen. This is a safe house. Not for me, it isn't. Let us come to the crunch. The crunch? The nitty-gritty. Are you a collaborator or are you with the resistance? Is that thing loaded? I am desperate. I have one up the spout. <laughs> that would make you desperate. Well, 
Look, I am on your side, Michel. At the same time, I have a business to run. Now, I cannot go around being rude to the Germans. Not in front of their faces, anyway. <laughs> I will put out my tongue at them from time to time when their backs are turned, or put a little extra salt in their soup. But we must be reasonable. It is the Colonel and the Captain. <gasps> the Colonel is backing under the tree. Oh, no. I think they are coming in here. Oh my God, he must not see them. Get them out of there. Through the window. No, quick. they can't go that way. There is a driver with a gun. Oh, quick, through here. Uh, Rene, the colonel and captain are approaching. Well, keep them busy while I think of a good reason why I've got two nuns in my back room. <laughs> the organ fund with my reputation? Go, go, keep them busy. Greetings, colonel. Uh, is there any refreshment that you would like? That is not on a high shelf. No, thank you, <laughs> We have business with René. Is he in the back room? No. Good. We wish to be private. We will wait in there while you find him. Oh, my God. Quick, get them down. Uh, Take these, uh, Yvette. Take these. Uh -huh. And I'm out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stand back. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather wait in my room? Stand aside. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> Rene is having a special service for his late departed brother. He's not dead. The church don't know that. They were going to have a big one in the cathedral, mm -hmm. but this worked out cheaper. <laughs> His lips are muttering in silent prayer. It is very moving. In that case, take your hat off. <laughs> Who is Frank Harris? He was a prophet. Hans, give it to me. <laughs> I'd no idea they played leapfrog in heaven. <laughs> Give the signal. What signal? To Hoots, of the owl. Edith, I am a cafe owner. I do not do impersonations. <laughs> Very well. I will do it. To it, to woo! To it, to woo! <laughs> what sort of an owl was that? Apparently one that is unappreciated by the bird up there. <laughs> a critic, perhaps. <laughs> Don't move. I have four baskets with me. It is hard to get good help these days. <laughs> Walk this way. And them out. What are these for? These are your covers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> mm. The cover is to be mushroom pickers. If you are stopped, you are on your way to the fields to pick mushrooms for the restaurant. Ah, oh, this is a good cover. The best ones pop up at night. <laughs> Give them the guns. They're loaded, but they're not cocked. Why do we need guns? Mushrooms do not fight back. If the Germans find you helping British airmen to escape, you will have to shoot your way out. Where are the airmen? They are safely hidden. Follow me. Henriette. <laughs> oh, we are going to get wet. Sissy! Follow me inside. It is I, Le Clair. <laughs> I am disguised as a simple milky maid. You look the same when you were a simple farmhand. It is the war, monsieur. We are very short of staff. Where are the airmen? I shall take you to them. This is Dadia. 
Here's Claudette. Here is Sophia. Bridget. And this, Flight Lieutenant Fairfax. <laughs> Doing here. He's waiting uh, to be milky. Where is Castas? I'm in charge of the canteen. <laughs> this end. The other seems a bit small. So that is what happened to my washing up gloves. I don't mind my asking, what are we all doing here? The plane is due in ten minutes. It will land the other side of the woods across the road. The road is controlled by the Germans. Should we encounter them, they will not suspect six mushroom pickers and an herd of cows. Ah. Are you trying to tell me that the Germans will not suspect that cow? <laughs> not when he is mixed amongst the others? Monsieur Leclerc, it is time. You and the farmer must lead out the cows. Immediately. Please, Yvette. Any news of René? Not a word. The place is not the same without him. It's all clear. They look very familiar, particularly that one. <laughs> I am trying very hard not to be familiar, monsieur. I have it. You are a relation of René, who works behind the bar. Oh, very distant. You have very hairy legs. <laughs> they run in the family. <laughs> René, it is you. Please, Lieutenant, do not give me away. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. No, no, you do not understand. Yes, I do. <laughs> I had an uncle with the same leanings. Every Shrove Tuesday, he would dress up as a pancake girl. I suppose you think I am a coward? On the contrary, I think it takes great courage to come out in the open and dress that way. Oh my God, Germans. They are coming to this table. Don't worry. I will cover. Mademoiselle, a dance. What? Oh, well, no, I, I don't. I'm not very good. Don't worry. I will lead. <laughs> <laughs> Are they watching us? Don't worry. Just be normal. I'm doing my best. <laughs> we will do a few more bars, then I will put you in my little tank and take you back to my place until it dies down. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant, uh, do you feather? Of course. <laughs> uh, just leave me here with my friends, will you? You're not really dressed for a tank. I think I'd better go and warm it up for you. Yeah, I, I, if you need a push start, just let me know. I'll, I'll get the rest of the girls. <laughs> no, I, I did not know who it was I was challenging to a duel. What? You, the leader of the escape route. Oh. Oh, let me kiss the hem of your dress. <laughs> please, please, miss, Monsieur Alphonse, you embarrass me. Oh, tell me what to do. I will follow you anywhere. Well, in, a, in a minute, I am going to have to go to the little girl's room. <laughs> oh, madame, I could not come between you and this. <laughs> this perhaps the bravest man in France. Henceforth, I will admire you from afar. Good day to you all. Vive la France. Uh, vive de Gaulle. Who? You know, the goal, uh, the one with the big ooter. <laughs> of course, vive the goal. 
thank heavens he has gone. That is all very well for you, but what am I to tell my friends? I cannot be seen out with a coward. I have the explanation. You will tell them that during the duel, a bumblebee flew down his trousers at a critical moment, causing him to run into the river. But the nearest river is three miles away. <laughs> it was a very big bee. <laughs> I cannot say what an honor it is for me to assist you, Monsieur René, the bravest man in France. <laughs> He's just escaped death by Gestapo torture, and without thought of personal danger, is even now helping the British airmen to escape. I am quite a character, am I not? <laughs> Someone is knocking on the coffin. Whoa! What are you knocking for, you old bat? You are supposed to be dead. I wish to go to the bathroom. We have to wait. This is not a corridor, Urs. Do not speak like that to my mother. You must be kind to her. It was your idea she should be the cops. She is the nearest thing we have. Get back to your seat. Wagons! Roll! Wagon. It is. <laughs> Processions are allowed, Herr Colonel. I wonder why Rene is riding in the front. I wonder why the two corpses in the second hearse were sitting up and chatting to each other. <laughs> I think it is possible that Rene is finally getting rid of the British airmen. So that life can return to normal like he promised. Hans, tell the sergeant to let them pass. This is a funereal. We are borrowing some biddies. <laughs> biddies? Dead biddies. And kiffins. Proceed. Let them proceed! General von Klinkerhofen! What is this? A funeral, Herr General. I see. <laughs> Open the coffin. It is my brother's wife's mother. She died of the plague. What plague is this? It's the plague that kills brother's wife's mothers. <laughs> Open the coffin. <laughs> if this spreads across Europe, we've all had it. <laughs> here, here, quickly. <laughs> See the ambush. They're in position. Now, oh, where is Rene with the money? He's late. Maybe he was arrested by the troops at the roadblock. You underestimate me, Hans. I have equipped him with a disguise that will enable him to pass freely through the countryside. Let's <laughs> 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 
I nearly stopped me at the bus. Shut up! Can you never underplay anything? <laughs> well, it's the bridge. Huh? That is where we are to meet the girls at the communist resistance. <laughs> There is a bridge over there. That is where we are to meet René the Café on his party. They will be disguised as Germans. Germans? <laughs> halt! There is the bridge. To the left, you will be observing the girls of the communist resistance. They will be in possession of the sausage. Beyond the bridge, you will see the café owner and his party disguised as German soldiers. They will be in possession of the ransom money. Everything is proceeding according to plan. I'm not much to look at, not much to see. Just glad I'm living and lucky to be. But I've got a someone who's crazy for me. I'm funny that way. <laughs> Do you have the money? Yes, we have the money. Do you have the sausage? It is here. Bring the money forward. Place it on the ground. Retire ten bases. When we have checked the money, then you will get the sausage. What? What is going on here? This is very suspicious. Eric, Kurt, sit! <laughs> <laughs> These communists, they trust nobody. It is all there. Do not worry, we will get it all back again when the Colonel's troops arrive. Where are they? In a moment, they will arrive at the rendezvous, recover the money, and return it to us. It is correct. Uh, uh, check it again, if you like. Where have they got to? Here is your sausage. <laughs> Come here, you naughty boy! <laughs> Come here! Come here with that sausage! What? It is a trap. Quick, into the woods. Oh. A dog has just apprehended the Gestapo sausage. Arrest him. <laughs> Three resistance girls are escaping. We will pursue them. Hans, our pensions. Quick. <laughs> Seven girl, I used to polish it. What are we doing here? We are supposed to be in the bedroom. It is a shortcut. Whoever heard of a shortcut in a secret passage? <laughs> Somebody's coming. What? Look out. stairs is the entrance to another secret passage which leads to the general's dressing room. Follow me. I like polish. <laughs> Hans, where are they? 
In the cellars. I know that. Out <laughs> in the cellars. We have Kuba's plan of the chateau. Yes, um, it all depends on whether that is the north or whether that is the north. Have you got a compass? Uh, I, I have one on my Swiss army knife. Hang on. Here we are. Mm. That is the north. In that case, we are going the wrong way. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Hans, you fool! What are you doing? You're knocking out our own people! It was a good shot, wasn't it? around here in Nerb. Whenever you can find it, Yvette will be doing her piece in three minutes. Ricky, Ricky, hide. No, no, but go somewhere else. This was haunted. A sort of armor with a limp has just walked past. Hey, look out! Somebody else is coming. <laughs> Drive Carstairs. Oh, all right, I'll have a go. <laughs> <coughs> Is there a handbook or anything? <laughs> it's quite simple. The elastic braces are tied onto that car and hooked round the undercarriage. We start you up, the car is driven off. When the braces are at full stretch, we pull away the chocks and off you go. <laughs> Piece of cake. Where's England? When you're in the air, turn right and keep straight on. <laughs> <laughs> You start it, I will drive it. Do not talk to me with a pipe in your mouth. <laughs> Maria, when I give the signal, you and Yvette will pull away the chucks. Roger, Lisette, stand by on the propeller. Standing by. Switch on. Contact. Into it. They have started theirs already. I am killing myself here. <laughs> Sissy. You have to fear for the compassion. Oh, the joke. How do you know so much about it anyway? I used to drive one of these when I was a young girl. You got it from the 1904 motor show, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Full stretch. Let me stretch up. 
It is charm that cannot shift it. Nose up. Quick, back to the cafe. 